how's everybody doing today all right today I'm back with a video that's probably not going to be the most exciting thing for a lot of people but for me it's something I've been really really looking for for probably well over a year one of them involves a new boom arm made for a microphone or even a camera but I chose to use it for specific reasons I'll explain that in a minute for my microphone now I've used the Yeti style um, this one is a mount that still styled kind of after the Yeti but my main arm has always been the Elgato low profile awesome arm great for everything especially when I'm working and my hands are on a keyboard and I need to keep them in place so I can be doing video editing stuff like that I hope you don't mind that I wear the hat all the time but it's my overhead lights kill my eyes so pardon me so the low profile arm is great but in gaming it's a whole different world when you're gaming and you get excited and you throw your arms up and boom wham you, 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 you knock your arm into the, the arm it knocks it out of place you have to reset everything and it's just not a healthy thing for the mic to be bouncing around like that I picked up it's this is brand new on the market it's made by Ulanzi I'll put a link in under the video and I'll list something on the video about it and there's another arm that I use that I've been waiting so long to find for my camera I have had no luck with any arm whatsoever for my camera getting something that is heavy duty sturdy that is, has total total movement and locks into place and doesn't move like anything I've ever had before and I finally found it I'm gonna point out some of the goods and some of the bads so I am going to bring this camera view in a little bit more on this desk so you can all take a look at what I've got here and I can go over first you Lanzi arm that I'm using for the microphone and then we'll do a quick overview of the you want to call it a boom arm it's actually a crazy arm I call it but it's made by a company called Jabudu Jabudu J E B U T U Jabudu found it on Amazon so let's take a look at that first thing I wanted to point out was the arm is incredible where 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 you can run your XLR strip in this it's deeper than any of the other ones which I always had an issue with because it always seems like stuck out a little bit too much and it wouldn't stay in right the Elgato one uses like a magnet that goes over the top with a metal strip but the magnet is a great idea if they would have made it like twice as strong so even with the cable in there and it's got plenty of room if I pull on that cable that arm flies right off the, the, the plate that goes over the top it's wider if you have you, you know what I'm talking about the cable so the cable sits so much further down inside of there and there's also like a little lip on both sides that catches anything coming up so if you want to take the cable out you can pull it straight out with no problem but if it's on an angle or anything like that it's not gonna just fly out Ink. I've got some more of these but basically once the cables in you can see there's a nice groove on the side and there's a nice lip on these are heavy duty clips that cable goes in it ain't coming out and it it's not coming out I, I've never had one this strong before it it's on there like pff, it's on there can't go wrong I'll keep them all on one thing for now so this one has the hole in it where the rod goes in and the great thing about this is once the rods in there like many other ones you can tighten it up and the rod ain't going nowhere but right at that point you have a spring-loaded thing a spring-loaded elbow what's great about it and I know you're saying oh spring-loaded elbow I've always had problems keeping mics in place you touch them and boink the arm pops up boink. this thing locks in you pull it down you give that a little twist I'm trying to get it down okay there it is it's locked in it ain't going nowhere same thing goes for this side and it's got tons of movement and this is not just that this is 360 this thing moves all over the place same goes for, for here look at the spring on that but you bend it lock it let me tell you what 
You lock it till it clips in. I ain't a weak guy. I'm also not muscle bound anymore, but I ain't a weak guy. But you're gonna fight to bend this thing. It ain't gonna pop out like any of the other ones. So this this is what I was looking for. I set it up last night, that's why it's not in the box now. And it, I fell in love with the thing, fell in love with it. But the biggest thing that I really liked about this is still yet to come. Now I'm using a Shure mic, but you can go with a Blue Yeti, you can go whatever. It doesn't matter because all of them have different size fittings. Some of them have the big 5.8s, 3.8s, and the one quarter. That's when I put an adapter in for the one quarter because to change the arm, I guess, and put a heavier one on. Maybe I'll look at that after, but for right now, this is what I'm talking about with this. Screw your microphone on here. Let me tighten this in one spot so it ain't swinging around. Okay. Did you get your microphone all screwed on? Okay. So it goes on, you got tons and tons and tons of movement. What I normally do to get things tightened on is I'll take a piece of nylon, some thin vice grips. You reach in there, you don't want to scratch it up, and you give it a little tighten. Okay. The great thing about this is once you get this mic into whatever position you want it in, and you can see how it's got plenty of play, you can get this positioned anywhere you want. This right here is what controls where you want to place this. You turn this, give it a little snugness, and this ain't going nowhere. You gotta fight with this thing to get it to move. It's tighter than it even has to be. You can loosen it a little and now it'll free spin. What happens is it locks in here onto a separate piece which you tighten down onto this wider part of the arm and it just locks in place. Now this ain't going anywhere. So, that's what I really liked about it. That's what I fell in love with this thing. It's strong. It'll hold everything right up to, I don't know, many, um, something like a Elgato Wave 3. Do like a feather on this. The Shure mic's pretty heavy, but still, no issues whatsoever. So, another part to it is it has lots of features for moving it around. It clips in here. It tightens down, and it ain't going nowhere. You can move this, you always want to keep it square if you can, and lock it again in any other position. This thing just has so many, so many great options to it, I, I, I just don't have enough to say about it. I, I probably found my microphone arm that's going to go over my monitor that I'm going to always be using. I'm never going back, except for the, the Elgato low profile I will be using when I'm editing and stuff like that for gaming in this. It's up, it's out of the way, it's steady, it's not bouncing around, it's locked into place, ideal. I was almost gonna, like I said, I was almost gonna go with the Elgato boom arm that went up and over, but it just didn't have the features this had. Not even close. So I'm gonna put this aside, and we're gonna take a look at the next one. Okay, so now we're back, and I'm gonna bring over this crazy looking thing. Now, the build quality of this is absolutely exceptional and I'll explain to you why. The one thing about this that I don't like, probably two things. I probably would have preferred the same thickness of tubing, but it be square for the reason it's easier to clamp things onto. But the tubula, still working fine for me. I've only had it a day. I've had no issues with it. And the chrome. I'm not fond of the chrome here, but it's behind your monitor, so. I'm not going to sweat it, you know, it just, it's down there holding your camera on. Now you hear all them clickings, is it has these aluminum circular pins, they're probably three quarter, one inch. And this is what gives you so much, it's 360 in any direction you want, until
Now, as you tighten it, you want to give it a little bit of movement to, to get see where it is. Once it's locked, man, it's locked. You can take these out. It has a screw right here, so if you want it completely, if the, and it starts to strip or snaps, right? no biggie, it comes out. So that's one of the features I liked about it. The other one is this, this right here is just outstanding build quality. I've had them where I've tightened them up and they literally bent from tightening them over and over again. This isn't gonna bend for the reason that it's made out of either cast aluminum or cast iron. I'm thinking more cast aluminum. So it would probably snap before it bent. And I've already had it on there. I used it last night to test it all out and wow. Again, I think I found my, my dream. I wish these were black. Maybe I could scuff them up and paint them, but no, I'm not gonna do that. It's just the chrome's a little bit kind of like, ugh, I would have preferred. I'm gonna look in the package. I think it might have came with a 3 8. I would have rather used a 3 8, or even a 5 8 would have been better. Used is only a 3 8. And basically, that's all you do. Let me bring it up and you'll see it for a second. This is the thing about these fluid tilt pin arms they're so versatile you want something that you can move around you just unlock it and then you lock it back into place you want to move your camera up and down lock it back into place and if you want to swivel it and lock it back into place over here it has a, a lever on it basically all you got to do is pull it back on the bottom of your camera it's a quick release see that little beveled slides right in and then it locks now I don't have to worry about that camera going nowhere once I get it all, now, I, when, when you mount it on a desk, definitely don't mount it with the camera on it. Get everything positioned the way you want it. Use a level like I did last night. It was the perfect angle. It was the best I've ever had. So I wanted to go over some of these things because I know this isn't one of them, um, you know, water cooling videos, CPU builds, uh, you know, any of that other putting a fluff of valve on the carburetor that attaches to the video card uh, anything crazy like that but um i'm sure it's going to help somebody because i looked everywhere for videos regarding these two new products and there's nothing out there other than the company's own videos that they put out on it and they really don't get into the detail of somebody's personal use with it and i haven't had a lot but i've had enough and I just, like I said, I just, I just love these things. They're just so nice. I just love how you can move it anywhere you want. And then the great thing about it, you lock it in place. Done deal. Ain't going nowhere. I can hold that camera right out there. You think you're gonna do that with a $700 camera? I trust it. Watch it snap off on the floor to freaking lens break off. All right, so I've taken up enough of your time for the day. Okay, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, subscribe, it really helps out the channel. And if you're not new to the channel and you are a subscriber, don't forget to give a thumbs up on it. So on that note, I hope I was able to help any, somebody out with these two boom arms and um, I'm gonna call it a day. I got things to do and I've gotta go to my other job yet. Three to 11, sucks. Anyways, everybody take care, stay safe and peace.